Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for joining me tonight here on TCM as we continue our Summer Under the Stars salute to Jimmy Stewart with a movie he made in 1952, the beginning of an important decade in Stewart's career. After a successful start in Hollywood during the late 1930s, Stewart took time away to serve in World War II and returned after the war eager to reinvent his image. Beginning with It's a Wonderful Life in 1946, he actively sought out roles that were the opposite of the carefree idealists he had played in movies before the war. Over the course of the 1950s, he starred in dark psychological westerns directed by Anthony Mann, as well as thrillers directed by Alfred Hitchcock, including Rear Window and Vertigo. At the end of the decade, he even pushed the boundaries of the Hollywood production code by starring in Otto Preminger's courtroom drama, Anatomy of a Murder. Along the way, Stewart also found a niche starring in biopics about real life American figures, people like Monty Stratton, Glenn Miller, and Charles Lindbergh. Our next movie is a biopic about a particularly offbeat character. From MGM in 1952, it's Carbine Williams. Stewart plays the title character, David Marshall Williams, a convicted murderer who used his time in prison productively and invented the operating principle behind the M1 carbine rifle. The weapon went on to revolutionize modern warfare and more than 8 million carbines were used by American troops during World War II. MGM brought the real Williams on board to consult on the film, and he vouched for its authenticity. From 1952, also with Gene Hagen and Wendell Corey, here is Carbine Williams. <laughs> 